The late summer I spent in Scandinavia, where I escaped to the Nordic wilderness, to raging waterfalls in northern Norway, and endless peatlands, lakes and forests in Finnish Lapland, where I was tracing bears. I never considered myself being an adventurer, but I am. I was looking forward to this vacation the whole year. Finally the day arrived where I got my rental car, three weeks of freedom and whole Norway was in front of me. So beautiful! How can that be? So beautiful! I felt total freedom. No schedule, no time pressure, no need to fulfill expectations. Just the late summer and a world to explore. I spent some days meeting up with one of the most experienced guides in this area. We were wandering for hours through the Nordic nature, along wild rivers and deep into the dramatic mountains. During the nights I was filming and making pictures and slowly getting absorbed more and more every moment. I cannot hide anything. Oh, they made a big pile. I just, huh? The amount of raw and uninhabited nature and dramatic beautiful scenery that I came by was unbelievable. The lush Norwegian forests are home to many animals, the moose being the largest of them all. Such a tourist. Yahoo! That's Fernanda. Yes. Woohoo! Oh, I've never been to Finland. But in you. Roy brought his extreme expedition tent, which was very funny. Coming from Central Europe, I was more used to sleeping in the car on road trips, so spending the night in a tent was something I wasn't really sure about. We were talking about stoves on this beach in Finnish Lapland, just like in winter at the polar expedition. Only the team and dogs were missing. The sun set as we were having dinner that we bought on the road at the gas station shop. Around 4 in the morning I got outside because the waves were so loud and I was way too excited for the day. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's 
Time to pick some coffee for Roy. During the summer, reindeer are on the road to escape the multitude of mosquitoes and other insects. And they aren't very willing to leave the road as the breeze can provide a bit of relief. In the evenings the temperatures drop, so the sled dog training for the upcoming winter season started. The next mission was to get closer to the Russian border and look if we could spot bears. So what we are doing now is like loading, charging this cable, then we have this box and it is attached to the phone. So that's very handy. We drove far away from the already barely populated Finnish forests east until there were only gravel roads. I now know that I react with laughing when I'm nervous. <laughs> we realized that we had no phone signal. In the dawn I could hear a big wild animal growling close. Making dinner in the wooden cabin that looked like out of a movie felt comforting. We struggled with firing the stove because of the Finnish ventilation system that we couldn't figure out immediately as it was so dark. With smoky hair, clothes full of ash and burned hands, I fell into my sleeping bag. From the owner of the cabin, Michael, who was doing bear safaris for years, we got a tip and advice on how to behave. I am glad that there was at least someone that properly knew how to use a compass. Berries and ontils are indicators for a habitat that the big animals like. We walked for hours through this jungle that was different from the commercial forest that I am used to. and we found an abundant bear nest. It's so dirty. Been into a bear, bear cave looking for bears. Now we are officially a bear, bear lady. <laughs> Thank you for coming along and maybe I'll see you in the next adventure.